Hi guys, TJ here with another video on fun math. Today we are going to learn about a topic in trigonometry called as maximum and minimum values of trigonometric expressions or trigonometric equations. What are trigonometric expressions or trigonometric equations? The equations containing trigonometric ratios are called as trigonometric expressions or trigonometric equations means trigonometric expressions will be in the form of a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta or in any other form or a secant theta plus or minus b b tan theta or secant theta minus tan theta by secant theta plus tan theta or secant square theta minus tan theta by secant square theta plus tan theta or any other trigonometric ratios the expressions with trigonometric ratios any expressions first today we are going to find the maximum and minimum values of the trigonometric expression a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta. Now, we are going to see two ways. The first way is the general way and the second way is the way including the differentiation way by, by using differentiation. First, let's start. First, let's discuss the first method that is only using the trigonometric formula. Okay, here you have cos theta, a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta. Y is nothing but a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta. Let us imagine like that. a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta. Now here, can we write it any in any other way? Means in any other way such that, in any other way such that you can get any only one trigonometric ratio means only cos or only sine or tan or cos. Let's see by only cos the way including only the cos or you can also do only sine in the same way. You have the sine a sine of some certain angle into some constant. First let us use a substitution a is equal to r cos alpha we are using alpha because we are using theta in this expression. So, we should be somewhat different. So, we should use alpha. A is R cos alpha and B is R sin alpha. Means, what can you find from this? What if I do A square? You will get R square cos square alpha, right? And B square, you will get R square sin square alpha. If you add them, A square plus B square is nothing but R square into cos square alpha plus sin square alpha, which is nothing but 1. So, R square is A square plus B square means R is square root of A square plus B square. Now, and what is the value of tan alpha? Do B by A, then you will get the R and R cancel out. So, you will get tan alpha is, is, is nothing but B by A or there is no use to find tan alpha. Okay, then. What will the expression y is equal to a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta change if we substitute a as r cos alpha and b as r sin alpha? Okay, then y will be r, a is nothing but r cos alpha into this cos theta plus or minus b is nothing but r sin alpha into this sin theta. Okay, I have said that if you do in this way, you will get, if you take r common, you will get y is equal to r into cos alpha cos theta plus or minus sin alpha sin theta. Or it is nothing but y is equal to r is nothing but square root of a square plus b square into cos alpha, cos alpha minus r plus theta. Because here if you have minus sign, you will have negative. Here if you have negative sign, here you will get positive. So let us use minus or plus. If you want to use sine in place of cos theta plus or cos alpha minus or plus theta, you can simply substitute A as R sine alpha and B as R cos alpha. Okay, now we know that cos alpha minus or plus theta. What are the maximum and minimum values of this? Cos alpha minus or plus theta lies in between negative 1 and 1. Now multiply this with square root of a square plus b square. So you will get negative square root of a square plus b square is less than or equal to square root of a square plus b square into cos alpha minus r plus theta is less than or equal to square root of a square plus b square. Means
means square root of a square plus b square into cos alpha minus half plus theta is nothing but y. And if you want y is nothing but a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta. So minus square root of a square plus b square is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to square root of a square plus b square. Means y is nothing but a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta. Means the maximum and minimum values of a sin theta plus or minus b a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta are nothing but minus square root of a square plus b square and square root of a square plus b square respectively. Or the maximum value is square root of a square plus b square and minimum value is negative square root of a square plus b square. Now let's see the second way using the differentiation. Okay, this method is somewhat easy method. Now we have y is nothing but a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta in the same way as before. And for the maximum and minimum values of any function, not only trigonometric expression, for any expression or any function or any equation, it is the derivative of y with respect to x is 0. Because at the maximum and the minimum point, the change in y will be 0 where the x changes in that shortest in that infinitesimally small point the change will be zero so dy by dx is nothing but the change in that particular point or tangent at that particular point it will be zero means the slope of the tangent at that particular point will be zero now what does it mean? It means that d by dx of a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta is nothing but 0. Okay, here we have in terms of theta, right? So instead of dy by dx, we should find dy by d theta. Or if, if you want, you can take a cos x plus or minus b sin x. So d by d theta of a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta is the derivative of cos theta is nothing but negative sin theta because cos starts with the letter c. I have shown you a trick that that if we want the differentials of trigonometric ratios, then if that ratio starts with letter c, then it have a negative derivative. So it is minus a sin theta plus or minus b cos theta is equal to zero. Now, y is equal to a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta. Let it be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now, if you do square of the first equation, you will get this is a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta whole square or a square cos square theta, the square of the first term plus b square sin square theta, the square of the second term. Here you have plus or minus, right? If you do a plus b whole square, you will have positive 2ab. If you do a minus b whole square, you will have negative 2ab. So, you will get plus or minus 2ab cos theta sin theta. Product of these two terms is equal to the square of the LHS, which is y square. And if you square the second function, you will get a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta here. 2 into a into b, right? Here a is negative a sin theta and b is b cos theta. So here negative into this plus or minus, you will get minus or plus 2ab cos theta sin theta is equal to 0. Means here if it is plus, it is negative. Here if it is negative, it is positive. And if we add these two equations, you can cancel this out. Okay, you may ask me that why are we adding these two equations? We, could, we should just add them for solving them or if those both equations should satisfy, right? Here, in this case, these two equations should satisfy, right? Because, because here, this is the maximum and minimum or that this is the derivative of the above function. Means the maximum and minimum value should satisfy this. And that maximum and minimum values also satisfy this equation right because those maximum and minima values lies on this straight line so you should solve these two and here you'll get a square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta or it is a square into cos square theta plus sin square theta plus b square into sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to y square plus zero or y square 
cos square theta plus sin square theta or sin square theta plus cos square theta is nothing but 1. So a square plus b square is equal to y square and y is nothing or y is nothing but plus or minus square root of a square plus b square. Now these are the values of y at maximum and minimum point or at the maximum and minimum values. So a cos theta plus or minus b sin theta lies in between the minimum value is minus square root of a square plus b square and the maximum value is square root of a square plus b square. Okay guys this is for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you not comment down below why you haven't. If you have any doubts comment down below I will answer them in the next video.